Hey guys, uh, today we're gonna be doing a really cool art experiment. Uh, right now the kids have been doing some uh, water coloring in the kitchen and I thought it would be really cool for them to see an artist by the name of Bob Ross. If you're not familiar with him, uh, he was I believe the mid 80s uh, TV host of a painting show called The Joy of Art or The Joy of Painting I believe and you know as a child I grew up watching him and it was always really neat seeing you know the different layering and the different techniques that he you know would show you and so as they were painting I thought it would be really cool for them to see an episode of Bob Ross for the first time I mean they've never seen him so they have absolutely no idea what he's like and so what we are going to do is have them draw a picture uh, of uh, mountains and you know a different scenario that's based on an episode they're gonna do it and then after they're gonna watch it and then they're gonna repaint it again. Now, I don't expect them to be a Picasso and make a replica of what he does, but I'd like to see the difference between the first painting that they draw, watching the episode, and then after what it'll look like. I don't know, we'll don't know if it's gonna work. It's an experiment, it's an idea, it's gonna be fun. Let's see. Okay guys, today we're gonna try something, okay? Mm, okay. What you're going to do yeah. is I want you to draw yeah. a landscape picture. What is that? Landscape is like a beautiful nature sort of scene. Hmm. Okay? What I want you to do is I want you to draw a beautiful sunset. Yeah. A white mountain full of snow. Yeah. A lake with some mountains. Or sorry, not mountains, sorry, some trees yeah. along the lake. Okay, so can you guys start with some new paper and let's begin this new art project. Really good. What are you doing? Making a forest. Making a forest. Sage, what are you up to? Um, now, um, mm. thi this is like mountain with snow, mm. and this is the sunset. Yep. And that, um, at the lake, mm. um, you can see the the sunset. Mm. And then right here, there's like a ginormous, big tree. You know, one thing I have to say, uh, Japanese kindergarten, they started about three years old here. So they're pretty used to doing artwork at a very young age. You finished your picture. Would you like to explain a little bit about it? Yes. This is the big fish, and this is the sunset, mm -hmm. and the, this is the forest. And nice. there's the little door. Excellent. Sage, go ahead. Would you okay. like to explain yours? Yes. Um, this is a big apple, a, a little apple, and then the lake. You can see the sunset, mm. and then between the, mount, the mountain with snow, there is a sunset. And okay. Here is a big tree. And then my Sister copied me the door. <laughs> <laughs> right here is a cave, and then I made this, this like this. And if you do like this, mm. here's like a pterodactyl. A pterodactyl? Holy and cow, this here, got really advanced. Here's the eyes, here's mm. like the. I don't know. Oh my god, it is a pterodactyl. I can't right believe it, it is too. It is, and this is the tongue. And the pterodactyl is trying to eat like a seed. Okay, good job, good job. Okay guys, now here's what we're going to do. Yeah. We are going to watch an art program by the name of Bob Ross. Who's that? <laughs> Who's that? He's a professional guy yeah. and he's going to show us the same art scenario. Yeah, like with same. Dish. Same idea, yeah. but you're going to watch it on TV on Netflix and it's about 30 minutes you have to watch the whole thing and then we're gonna see how he, he does it. yeah so what do you think you want to try yeah. yeah all right here we go hi welcome back 
certainly glad you could join us today. Today I thought we'd just do a beautiful warm little winter scene. And this is one of those paintings that just, it should make you happy. A big Easter egg already. There. And then, let's take, let's take, we want to clean the brush. It's good dark color and the brush is fully loaded. Let's have us a tree that goes right there. Start off with just a little line and we're going to push upward. Push upward. Happy, happy tree. Classic. We're going to call that one finished. From all of us here, happy painting. God bless my friend. And pause. Okay, kids, what did you think? That was amazing. Yeah, did you learn anything? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Mina, how about you? But guess what you're going to do now? Yeah. What you is? are going to draw the same thing as you just saw. <laughs> now it doesn't have to be a Bob Ross exact type, but what you're going to do is try to do some of the things that you learn like the trees and some of those things. You don't want to do it. Oh. I can't do but I'll do my best. Alright, that's yeah. what I like to hear. Nina? I'm gonna do my best. Alright, let's head over to the table. Oh, look at her. She's got her thumb inside there like a little curl. <laughs> oh, I see you're uh, starting your mountain skyline there, CG? Yeah. Now I'm gonna try to Make like a sunset. It's really difficult. Mm -hmm. It takes practice. Yeah. Um, I did the picture, mm -hmm. and then. It's really different than the first one and the, the second one. The colors are totally different from your first one, Sagey. Why did you choose so much red and things like that? Why were you uh, doing that? I named red because you, mm. I didn't have like a like circle paper. Mm -hmm. So I just did a lot of red. Mm. And then after that, I draw a mountain. And then next I draw the trees and then the clouds. Excellent. And what did you learn? I might learn like the, the draw clouds with like white. Mm. And then you go like left, right, left, right. And then you you bring that up. Then it kind of looks like a cloud. Yeah, for sure. All right, let's move on. Thank you very much, Sage. And Mina. Go ahead, explain your picture, Mina. This is the first one, Yeah. and this is the second one. That's right, your first one was very um, was very different. You had the lake in the middle with the blue, and uh, lots of green over here. And then over here, you got lots of red again with the trees. Uh, what did you learn from this, Mina? Right. And the trees and the mountains. That's right. All right, guys, that is it. That is the experiment. It is now over. I believe we have two totally different pictures. Um, what I wanted the kids to learn from this was, you know, not to be Bob Ross, but to take a little bit of what he teaches in his paintings and I hopefully they have learned, you know, some new techniques. And I think it's, it's, it's definitely it's changed them a little bit. Yeah. 
<laughs> All right, guys, thanks very much. Uh, please leave your comments below what you think. And uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think about this. And thanks for watching. Take please care. subscribe! Please, please subscribe! subscribe. <laughs>